Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV and welcome to highlights of Royston Town against AFC Royston Diamonds from the Southern League Division 1 Central Playoff Semi-Finals on Tuesday evening. Away support in their hundreds followed the Diamonds to this vital contest. And it was the away side of the first effort, although no diamond could get a clean contact on the ball, Royston were able to clear. Before Jack Bowen, who would have an excellent game, hit the crossbar. But moments later, after fantastic pressure from the diamonds, Jack Bowen reacted quickest to a chance and rifled the ball into the back of the net. 1-0 Diamonds in the 30th minute. after they'd had to make an early substitution Royston's defence wasn't looking anywhere near as strong as it was in the fixture earlier on this season Lewis Leslie going close with the shot there and then the resulting corner was played right across the face of goal and some frantic defending Sure the scoreline stayed as it was. Royston barely had a chance of note in the first period. And had Bowen been a little bit more lucky in taking the ball past the defender, he may have had another shot on goal. Just before half time, a vital moment. Royston's Reese Honus going over in the area under pressure from Jack Ashton, where the referee decided that the midfielder had dived and Royston Mann was booked for simulation. So at half time, in a frenetic first period, Royston Town 0, FC Royston and Diamonds 1. Diamonds continued to press in the opening stages. Leslie going close with the header. Before there, a ball deflected just over the crossbar. And then arguably the deciding moment of the second period. More running from Bowen put Royston's defence under pressure. A disastrous back pass from Chris Waters was never going to make it to the goalkeeper. And Royston's Ron Yates couldn't do much more but take down Bowen. For which a penalty was awarded and Yates was shown a red card. made all their substitutions, Royston striker Ryan Ingrey had to go in goal and Liam Dolman stepped up to take what would be a vital penalty. Under serious pressure, Dolman was the coolest man in the house, slotting the penalty home. 2-0 Diamonds in the 80th minute. And 
the big moments just refused to stop. Claudia Hoban booked for a foul. Appeal for a penalty waved away after a cross from Sean Richards. With the same time as 11 on the field as the game ticked toward injury time, with a number of them on bookings, there was a danger that there could be a sending off, and it happened to Claudia Hobam, booked twice late on. Time is now down to 10 men and they started to struggle for the first real time in the game. A nice play from the home side resulted in a goal for Scott Bridges. He was able to get a goal back two minutes into time over at the end. Throughout the entire game, Diamonds had been roared on by an impressive away following. Diamonds held on through seven minutes of time added on at the end. A heroic performance witnessed by an impressive away following. Full time Russian Town 1, AFC Russian and Diamonds 2. The Diamonds go through to the Southern League Division 1 Central playoff final, which will be at St Ives on Bank Holiday Monday. So again, the final score, Royston Town 1, AFC Russian Diamonds 2 in a playoff semifinal. That really sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, man of the match, Jack Bowen, JB. Does, yeah. What a um, game. Great win for us. Um, great to get the lead. Um, would have been nice to keep a clean sheet at the end, but did the job. So uh, looking forward to Monday. I tell you, Diamonds came out flying first half. It looked like uh, you were a threat to score every time down the pitch. Uh, it's what we needed to do. We needed to get a goal ahead. I thought if we had, if we got the lead in the first half, we'd go on to win the game. Uh, that's exactly what we did. So uh, pleased to do that. And uh, finally, Diamonds did score a much-deserved goal on the half-hour mark, 30th minute. Uh, tell us about your goal. Slammed it home. Yeah, so uh, I think it was Jay Lee got a great header on the corner. Um, their lads cleared it off the line and it's fallen to me. Uh, that's what I do, put the ball in the goal, in the box. So uh, happy with that one. A little bit earlier, we had a ball go off the crossbar. It went straight down. I believe that was your shot as that well. Was, uh, my shot as well, yeah. I'm going to give the keeper credit for that one. So uh, great save from him to keep it at 0-0 there, but glad I got the goal in the end. So we're leading 1-0 at halftime. Team has to feel really up, but uh, you wanted the intensity to continue, I'm sure, in the second half. Yes, definitely. We, uh, we said at halftime, nothing's done yet. No game's ever won at halftime. So uh, just glad that we could go out and get the result in the end. And uh, let's see, we had a lot of bookings in the match, but a key point, of course, came, I think, in like the 78th minute. Their goalkeeper receives a straight red, and uh, Liam Bully comes in and makes the penalty kick. Yeah, very calm penalty from uh, Dom, and I wanted it myself, but uh, he's, the, uh, he's the penalty taker, so I let him have that one. But, uh, yeah, good goal. Do you usually uh, take penalty shots, uh, did you, for Cookner? I did, yes. So I uh, took them this season, scored three. So uh, I'd like to get on them myself, yeah. Well, maybe another game, hopefully. But uh, then, of course, naturally, we made it a little nervy at the end when they scored in the 92nd minute, Stuart Bridges. and But we held on, of course, for the victory. Uh, it would have been nice to keep a clean sheet, as I said. But uh, what can you do? Just pleased to be in the playoffs next week. So. Well, I know this is your first time on the AFC RD TV. Uh, congratulations for Man of the Match. Uh, is it an unusual situation being on a dual reg uh, because uh, you're with Cookner as well? I am with Cookner, yeah. I said uh, I spoke to Lammy and Peaksy earlier in the season. Uh, they said I signed on quite a while ago, and they said if we need you to come over to do a job, then uh, I'm happy to do so. So uh, glad I've made the move. And uh, it's paid off, obviously, with a few goals in the last few games. Oh, you've been a valuable addition, of course, to Diamonds. Uh, the obvious question is, who would you rather play in the playoff final? I think we're still waiting on the result of St. Ives and Egham. They were uh, level 2-2 in extra time. Uh, doesn't really bother me. Uh, I think we can do a job against either of those. So uh, just pleased to be in the playoffs ourselves. We've secured ours. So uh, whoever we get, I'm sure we'll go there and put our best in to try and win the game. Very good. Good job, Jack. Cheers. Cheers.
Thanks, Bruce and Jack. I'm now here with an absolutely delighted Andy Peets. Andy, you couldn't have been a happier man now. Uh, I've had worse nights, John, I must admit. <laughs> so, uh, tell us about the team selection to start off with. 4 3 3. Yeah, it went 4 3 3. We tried it a little bit, didn't we, Saturday? Um, quite liked it. Thought coming to a place like this when they've got a good attacking record, we wanted to be hard to break down, but we weekly wanted to be effective when we got the ball and breaking. Um, and I thought, to be honest, it worked perfectly. I mean, the first half, I thought that's the best we played for months. I mean, I can't imagine that everybody was at it, that we were on top of them from, from the word go. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. I've spoke to you straight after that it's the best we've played for a long while. I thought we looked really hungry first half. I thought we were first to every ball, every second ball. I thought we dictated the play. Um, fully in control. Um, couldn't have asked for a lot more. Perhaps would have liked to be another goal up, but really delighted with the first half performance. I mean, Jack hit the bar uh, with the, in the early on and then he took his goal well. Yeah, he took his goal really well. Um, it's been a massive plus only the last few weeks. I think we'll all agree with that. And I think he'll only get better and better. I thought he led the line really well um, and deserved his goal. Like you said, and could have had another one and was brought down eventually for the penalty. So easier half-time team top than the last few away games? It was it was easy to a degree, but you know we've been here before against Royston. We were beating them at home 1-0 and bashing them really, and they come back into it. And we were winning the other week at Owls at half-time 1-0, and they come back into it. For me, it was about maintaining it. It was about a good first 15 minutes, not letting them get back in the game, because they were desperate. They they were bashed first to have really, at 1-0. They knew that, and to be fair, they were desperate for anything they could get, and it would have given them a lift. Um, I thought it was key that we didn't, and we started well. And I thought we just carried on second half as we finished the first half. Yeah, absolutely. We came out of the blocks, and uh, same again, really. They, they did have a spell early in the middle of the second half, and then the penalty near the end kind of uh, settled our nose for a few moments anyway. Yeah, I mean, one nil's a dodgy scoreline, and he takes a second score goal, so I was conscious of that, but we kept probing and probing, and you hope you get a second goal. Um, and we did eventually get that, which again I thought was fully deserved. Bully put the penalty away, so yeah, I was pleased with that. And then uh, they wanted to make a sweat and uh, they got a goal in the 92nd minute. But and another four minutes after that, nerves on the bench? Yeah, it's always nervous, isn't it, with that sort of stage because it gives them a lift. It puts us a little bit on the back foot and it puts doubts in people's minds as a player, as a manager, as a fan. We're all going through it and it would have flattered them massively. I thought we were much the stronger team and, and their guy said that after, in fairness to him, he wished us well and said we were the best team by a long way. I thought we were just really hungry, competitive. And I think we went into it, I wanted us to relax because, as I've said before, it was a bonus game. We came fifth. You know, the pressure was on them, really. They've been here before. You know, the pressure was on us three weeks ago to make the playoffs after the dip. I think we've come that through that really well. We've got stronger. You know, going to late and we had to win. That was a must-win game. Tonight, for me, is a bonus. And I said, go out there, express yourselves. We're going to have a good following. It's important they put a performance on. And I thought they were absolutely first class tonight. And the fans, unbelievable support tonight from the fans. I think that they were. You wanted them to be the 12th man, and they were the 12th man. They were fantastic. Get that drum out again for Monday, wherever we may be going. Um, yeah, they were brilliant. Let's get behind us again on Monday. Um, yeah, they were great. And it's, it's good for us. It's good for the boys, you know, the ones who sing, but just general all around the ground you can hear lots of Diamonds fans, it was all constructive and the boys can hear that. You know, we're all in it together, I've said that all along. You know, when we lose it hurts us, it hurts the fans, but you know, it hurts me. And when we win, we're all happy, so let's keep that all togetherness. Disappointed at the end with Claudio getting sent off and he may miss the final. Um, it's going to be hard to pick him up, but I know you've got players to come in. Yeah, I mean, we'll look at it, but it looks like that's the case, which I think is bizarre for two yellow cards to miss the next game. That don't happen at any other stage of the season. Straight red's different, but in football, some of the laws they make, nothing will surprise me. I'll be disappointed for the boy because he's been fantastic for us this season. If he does miss it, we've got options and we'll, you know, we'll still be in a good position. We'll have a good team out there who will do the job and I'm sure we'll wish the boys really well. But we'll look into it. I thought it was such a soft sending off, to be honest. Um, for me, that's about consistency again. Didn't need to do that, I didn't think. So, really disappointing. That's put, you know, it's dampened it a little bit, but you know we have to take the positives. They want us to enjoy the good time, um, and we'll do that. And we don't know who we're playing yet because they're in extra time at Egham, and uh, sometimes I don't think you're really bothered, are you? No, I'm just, I always say it's a cliche, I've said it from day one, I worry about our next game, I worry, it doesn't matter who it is, if we put a performance on like tonight, I'm comfortable beat them, and if we don't, then I can't ask for any more from them, that's all I ever ask, 100% effort, work rate, commitment, pass the ball, they did all them things tonight, so yeah, want more of the same Monday. I wish I was on the coach tonight going back, because I bet it's going to be a good journey home. Exactly, it's going to be a good journey home, and we're going to get trained this week ready for Monday, because that's their cup final now. And we'll have a big support there. Yeah, I want us to get as many people there as we can. Let's really get behind the boys and try and finish this season in style. Thanks, Andy. Take care, mate.